Okay, so you've got yourself some data and you've got yourself a Visio diagram. And you think, oh, this would be great, wouldn't it? I could link this into Power BI. Look at this, I've got all this fancy data graphics on here. I've got all this information going on. I've got my linked data records. I've got a legend over here. I've got a report in here. And I've got, hmm, well, I know that uh, Visio uh, Visual in Power BI has some limitations. So I do a quick count. Oh, look, I've got 432 shapes on this. Well, that's what I think I have anyway on here. So what happens next? OK, so uh, I've got my Visio document saved to OneDrive for Business or to SharePoint. And I've opened it up in Visio online and everything looks hunky dory. I can do shape info and I'll select on a shape. I see all the information that I want to. I can uh, pan and zoom uh, into the areas and everything is looking cool and dandy. So I think, all right, I'm going to use this within Power BI. So to get the URL I need for Power BI, I'm going to go to go share here. And I don't want to edit one. I want to have a read only link. So I'm going to do apply on that and copy that link. I've now got a shareable link, which will give me a view, read only view of that document. So I just copy that. So I'm going to Power BI. And first of all, I want to get my data source. So I'm going to go in this case to my Excel. I've got my cabinets workbook there, which has got my data in there. It's connecting to it. And inside there, I've got this uh, cabinets query, which is giving me the information about each of the cabinets that's in there. So I'm going to load that. Now I've got my cabinets information. So next thing I need to do is go to the marketplace and select the Visio visual. So let's just put in Visio as a search term there and add that into my Power BI project. Okay. okay. Click on the Visio visual and then click on the cabinet name. When I click on that, it opens up the dialog here or the form and I go and paste in that URL that I copied for the read only link and then press connect. And I'm getting a warning, I'm getting a warning that there are too many shapes to load on there. Also, you can see that the shape data or uh, the graphics that I had on those have now disappeared, yet I've still got the, the legend that goes with it. I've still got this table and I've got a lot of white space around there. So I would say that this isn't particularly useful. Now back into Visio now, one of the things I can spot is that uh, that count of shapes wasn't quite right because that was counting the top level shapes. It was not counting all the sub shapes. If I actually counted all of the sub shapes in there, there's over a thousand of them and thousand is your limits really. So there are things you need to do here to, to mitigate this and make this diagram more efficient for use with Visio visual within Power BI. One thing I could do is use the hash name for layers. If I look at the layer these particular ones are on, and just go sign layers here. We see this is someone called cabinets. At the moment, there's lots of um, shapes on all different layers. And if I look at the layer properties dialog here, you can see that there's a lot of layers there and a lot of things on it. Now we can make the Visio visual in Power BI concentrate on just say the cabinets layer and just rename that and put a hash in front of it. And that hash will mean that the Visio visual will just concentrate on that particular layer and ignore the rest. I would still say there's things wrong with this particular document, which is more than just that layers there. But that is one thing that you can do if you wanted to do that. Of course, another thing I could do is to remove the data graphics. So I could go to my uh, data tab here 
and we can see here we've got this particular data graphic and I could select all shapes that use this graphic and I could remove it I'm just going no data graphic and all of that will disappear so now I've just got those bland rectangles and of course I could get rid of the legend and I could get rid of this report because it could be stale data those buttons are no good uh, because they're running macros that I don't need within there and now we're getting close to what we want it to be of course I could leave the title and I could reshape this and get rid of some of the white space that's around it and now we're starting to look like something that resembles a very useful diagram for use within the Visio visual for Power BI okay now I've taken it even further I've actually put some of the graphics onto a background page. Here is a background page and here I've got a whole load of shapes you can see on here. So again, because they're on a background page, they're not going to get counted. Go back to my foreground page and the foreground page, if you don't know this, can actually reference that background page that's there. So we're seeing the background page through the foreground page. We only really want to have one foreground page in these documents that we're going to use for the Visio Visual in Power BI because we're not going to have these tabs along the bottom anyway we can't easily change from one page to another so let's just consign ourselves to using one foreground page and remember these shapes here that I have they are still intelligent shapes in that even though you can't see any text on it uh, look at the shape data that's on there we can see that it has got the unique identifier for each of those records which is going to be very important when we want to automatically link to the data within Power BI now that I've got my bland monotone backdrop for my data I've opened it up in Visio Online and we can see that the two tabs are showing here and I've got the information as as before and I can click on the shape data tab here and we can see all the information so we know that those rectangles which don't look very exciting are quite exciting really because they've got all this data attached to them and now I'm going to go into the share again and I'm going to get a link that doesn't allow any editing to apply copy the link now I can go back into my this uh, Power BI desktop application and in there you can see that we can actually go and change the diagram link so if I go and change that diagram link there and paste and then connect we will see I'm now getting my new cleaner diagram which is occupying very much more completely within the canvas that I wanted to. So that's how to make yourself a nice Visio visual for use with the rest of Power BI.